Good day, YouTube. This is J Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Caterpillar. I've uh, talked about them in the past. It's uh, been a long time since I've talked about them. Looks like the last time was back in uh, April. Um, be interesting to go back and view that video and see how much has changed. Um, looks like they were um, new price target of uh, two hundred and seventeen dollars and thirty eight cents is in the. Um, some of the information that I wrote there, but um, Caterpillar's been having a great day today. I mean, that would have been a sweet option there. Uh, or even if you were trading it, you would have picked up some decent money there. But um, here's a look at what they've done over the last year. They've just been kind of all over the place. Um, I've had them in my retirement account uh, for couple years I've thought about dumping them a time or two you see the nice run-ups that they have here and then it's just uh, fallen down a little bit um, but they're actually up over 18% in the last year 11% in the last um, three months 8.46 in the last week in the uh, last week they're up over 4.8 percent um so from yesterday would have been the day to uh bought in on this one and here's a look at today up over 5.35 percent so if you don't know what caterpillar is um you need to go to a construction site they're probably more than likely some um machines machinery uh can on a construction site so but they're engaged in the manufacturing construction of mining equipment diesel and natural gas engines industrial gas turbines and diesel electric uh, locomotives um, quite a few different products been around since 1925 so really old uh, company um, getting close to being 100 years old 5.24 million shares being traded and an average of 2.42 so double the volume today 117 billion dollar market cap almost 118 52 week low of 179.34 and a 52 week high of 246.69 and uh, decent ratings on this one a 52 percent buy so uh, bulls are continuing recovery from the temporary demand uh, shock in oil prices. Caterpillar faces stiff competition from foreign competitors across and for the uh, bears case. And here's one of their, probably I would say a competitor, John Deere. It seems like their stock's always been a lot higher priced. Um, Next earnings for Caterpillar is on, uh, expected on uh, January 28th in the uh, pre-market. So over here on uh, Bing, currently showing it as a buy. Here's a little bit more information on Caterpillar. It is the world's largest construction equipment uh, manufacturer. In 2018, Caterpillar was ranked uh, number 65 on the Fortune 500 list. And number 238 of Global Fortune 500 list. Uh, so not too bad. Ratings there. So um, looking into Caterpillar's recent short interest. This is dated on the 23rd. It's a little bit older information. So it's going to skim through this. Um, for those of you that could care less, go ahead and skip. <laughs> But uh, the uh, company reported uh, that it has uh, 6.34 million shares sold short, which is 1.17 of the regular shares that are available for trading. So this one, um, I don't know. I've just let it set in my retirement. I've thought about selling it. Um, I'm actually thinking about selling it now since it's up and maybe dumping it into Apple or something else that I get a little bit more return on um, but here it kind of goes over the uh, short interest in the uh, three months comparing caterpillars a uh, short interest against its peers peer competition is a popular technique amongst analysts and investors according to uh, Benzinga uh, caterpillar 
peer group average for short interest as a percentage of the float is 5.59%, which means the company has less short interest than most of its peers. Um, so hard to say why this one is uh, being shorted. Um, like I said, I haven't looked at this one in a long time. Caterpillar uh, dips more than uh, broader markets, uh, what you should know. In the uh, last trading session, Caterpillar closed at $206.08, uh, marking a minus 0.6% move from the previous day. The uh, change lagged the S&P 500 daily loss of 0.3%. Elsewhere, the Dow lost 0.25%, while the uh, tech-heavy Nasdaq added 0.33%. Heading into today, shares of the uh, construction equipment company had gained 8.28% over the past month, outpacing the industrial products a sector gain of 2.34% and the S&P 500 gain of 3.11%. Expect a Caterpillar post earnings of $2.23 per share. That would make the uh, year over growth of 5.19%. Meanwhile, Zach's consensus estimated revenue projecting net sales 13.31 billion, up by 18.43% from a year ago period. For the full year, our Zach's consensus estimates are projecting earnings of $10.35 per share. And there's quite a bit of information in here, so feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest uh, just to uh, keep the video short and to the point. And again, you can find all that right on uh, Markets Insider. As Caterpillar outpaced other industrial product stocks this year, and this is just dated uh, yesterday, A quick glance at the company's year-to-date performance in comparison to the rest of the industrial product sector should help answer this question. Caterpillar is one of 224 companies in the industrial products group. The industrial products group currently sits at number 9 within the ZEX sector rank. The ZEX sector rank gauges the strength of our 16 individual sector Groups by measuring the average ZEX rank of the individual stocks within the groups. And it kind of goes over some ratings here. Currently sporting ZEX rank at a number two, which is a buy. And we'll go over some more ratings here at the end. According to the latest data, CAT has moved about 13.6% on the year to date data basis. In comparison, industrial products uh, companies have returned an average of 0%. Um, I think I still have about 8 to 10 shares of this one left in uh, retirement. I did sell a couple to uh, buy something else a while back. I did see that uh, before looking at this video, but I'm just up uh, maybe 20% and I've held this one for 4 years, I believe, so it's just not I mean, it's a steady return. It's a slow one, but um, I'm looking for more of a return. So, like I said, I might be watching this one and put in a sell order and maybe sell off a couple more shares and put it into something else. So, Caterpillar shares bought by Citizens Financial Group. And this is dated uh, yesterday. Citizens Financial uh, raised its holdings in Caterpillar. By 11.2% during the third quarter, reports uh, the firm owns 7,975 shares of industrial products company stock after buying an additional 801 shares during the quarter. Citizens Financial Group uh, holdings in Caterpillar were worth uh, 1,531,000 at the end of the most recent reporting period. A number of other institutional investors and hedge funds have also modified their holdings. So something must be going on um, with Caterpillar. And um, so that's why it was making a video on this one. Um, just right here it says opened at 206.74 on Monday. Caterpillar hit a 52-week low of 178.75 and a 52-week high of 246.69. So maybe I'll put in a sell order for... 
246 or 250. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and watch it and see. If I could make a little bit more profit on it, I'd be selling it, but I'm just getting tempted right now. So, And if you have any Caterpillar, you can leave that in the uh, comments, what your cost basis is, if you're traded, or what you do with it, or maybe you like John Deere better, I don't know. A little luck can go a long way with a Caterpillar, and this is dated on just today so it is currently valued at $214.89 the transactions were called off for the previous session stock hit highs of $208.60 after setting off price of 207.33 company stock value dipped to 205 $205.80 during the trading of the day when the trading was stopped the value was 207 Caterpillar Financial Services is announcing a $1 million donation to the National Museum of African and American Music uh, to support and promote the museum's focus on education and youth outreach in Nashville area. It's very cool. Always cool to see businesses doing stuff like that to um, help out um, some students with music. And I love music. Um, Caterpillar had a pretty favorable uh, run when it comes to the uh, market performance. One year high price for the company stock is recorded at 215.77 on 1-4 of 2022, so which is today. So we'll see what it does in the uh, days and weeks to come. So the bat and the cat trailer. <laughs> I should have put in Caterpillar, but uh, we'll move on. Stock Twits currently at 218.08. That is just amazing. You can see the selling off and buying, selling off. Just kind of stair stepping up. 52 week low of 178.75, high of 246.69, and $112 billion market cap. Nice run. $225 calls for Wednesday open on stock orbit. Hmm. Those I would assume would be pretty pricey though. We can take a look at them here at the end. Over here on MSN Money, currently showing it as a buy. And on tip rank, showing it a moderate buy with a 6% upside to 232.67, high of 290, low of 164. Uh, if you have Caterpillar, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments, along with your cost bases, any other information you want to share. Um, let's take a look here. So currently at 216.55, so what did they say, a $225 call? Yeah, that's going to be expensive. That's going to cost you 400 bucks. Yikes. <laughs> And if you did January 14th, yep, take that by 100, so too much. But that would probably be a good payday if you uh, got it up there, so that's what she said. But if you, like I said, if you have any uh, Caterpillar, go ahead and list it in the comments along with your uh, cost bases, any other information you want to share, or if you uh, want to see a John Deere video, I might be working on one since we did a um, Caterpillar. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.